Hi friends, today we're going to get real tube nerdy. I mean, real tube nerdy. But seriously. Welcome back. A lot of us have had uh, dads or grandfathers or uncles find out we're building tube amps and uh, they say, oh hey, I got this box of tubes up in the attic. Why don't you take it home, see if there's anything you can do with them. And, uh, and so we say, you know, sure, okay, I'll, I'll do that. And you haul it home, and you open it up, and you look in it, and you're kind of like, ugh, there's nothing in here that's useful. But maybe look a little closer. You might find something you can use. Uh, I'll give you some suggestions today, and hang around till the end. Because when we get to number one, it's a whole group of tubes uh, that really are fantastic for guitar use. So... Let's get going. Number five. 6AQ7. Looks kind of like a 6SN7, doesn't it? But it's not at all. The 6AQ7 is a twin diode high mu triode. What's useful here is the triode part. It has an amplification factor, or mu, of 70, making it excellent for preamp, phase inverter, or even tremolo use. The two diodes and their cathode are grounded in this situation. Treat the triode the same way you would one section of a 6SL7. Number 4. 6T8. See those three structures in there? They don't have anything to do with what we're doing. If you need a 9-pin preamp, the 6T8 might fit the bill. It's structurally similar to the 6AQ7, except it has three diodes. Those were the three structures which also have their own cathode. Ground the diodes and their cathode and focus on the triode section, which has an amplification factor of 70, also making it good for input, phase inverter, or tremolo service. Number three. The 6AN8, and its bigger cousin, the 6AW8A. The 6AN8 is a triode and a pentode in the same tube, both of which are useful despite the triode's mu of 21. This tube actually has an audio and rock and roll pedigree with the pentode operating as a gain stage and the triode operating as a phase inverter in Dynaco amplifiers, then in a number of Sun models which are based on Dynacos early on. The slightly taller 6AW8 has a triode with an amplification factor of 70 and a pentode with an even higher transconductance. Want to get real nuts with this one? Use the triode as a gain stage and the pentode for output. Number 2 6AU6 a. Welcome to the land of cheap input pentodes. The 6AU6 is a 7-pin tube with similar characteristics to a more famous input pentode, the EF86. The latter are expensive and often microphonic. 6AU6 is cost-less, so it's easier to sort through several to find the quietest ones. These are great for input, but it's not unheard of to use them for low-watt output either. Number 1. 6SG7. It's a part of a family of pentodes that include the 6H7, 6J7, 6K7, and a few others. The 6SG7 is one of a family of pentodes that are great for input or gain stages. The 6AJ7 slash 6AC7, 6SH7, the well-known 6SJ7, and the 6SK7 are all pin interchangeable and some are hotter than others in the same circuit. The 6SJ7 was a favorite of builders like Valco and others in the early days of tube amp building. Even the first Fender Champ used one of these. Unless you think these went out with the dinosaurs, Matchless used a 6SH7 as a gain stage in its Clubman amp. Well, I hope you found that at least a little bit useful and it sends you running off to that uh, old box or multiple boxes of tubes and uh, you find something you can use to build in there. So please hang around. Uh, there's more videos coming. And uh, if you like what you saw, please hit the like button. Um, subscribe if you want to see more videos. And hopefully you'll come visit us again. Us being me. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.